Hi guys, how are ya? Look at, I wanted to show you my little, my battle scars here. This is actually not grease. I thought it was grease all day. I kept trying to rub it off. I had three teeth pulled this yesterday morning and he left quite a bruise. So there we go. I just wanted to send you a quick little video and um, say hi to all of you. I am leaving tomorrow on my big adventure. So I want to show you, here is the camper, the motor home. Um, here's where my yard is. This is where I've been staying for the last week. This is my view. Like who is so lucky? This is my home base home. And there's the yard that Sammy and I get to hang out in. So I'm in the process of packing up my hose and doing all the things that I need to do to get the camper ready to roll. It's been a super hectic week. I have had to go get the oil changed. I had to get um, the, the car ready to tow. So yes, here it is. I'm hauling a 38, I'm driving a 38 foot motor home. I'll see you with 38 foot motor home and I'll tow a car behind it. So I'm gonna be about 45, 50 feet. No, about 50 feet when all said and done. That's insane to me. But I just want to send a quick note and tell all of you girls that maybe you're in a rut. Maybe you just don't know if you can do whatever it is that you want to do. And I'm going to tell you, do it. Just do it. No one can believe I'm doing this. I can't even believe I'm doing it. But look, here's my freaking house. I have, in the last three months, completely changed my life. There's nothing about my life that looks like it looked three months ago. Well, except for this guy. Sammy, that guy, he's, he's the one constant that I have, but I want you all to know that you can do it. If I can do it, anybody can do it. There's nothing about my life that looks the same as it did a month, three months ago. So I'm going to give you a quick tour. Okay. Here's the tour of the house and remind, don't judge me. My front yard is dirty because I'm packing up to go. There's the best friend. That's Kathy, the other Kathy. Um, some of my hatches are open just because I'm trying to figure out where to put stuff. Because I, I have to figure out all my storage is way different than it ever was before. So here is the house. Okay, welcome to my little house. There's my kitchen. Pretty great kitchen, right? My couch. All this storage space above the couch. This was a recliner. And that table was underneath these three windows. So I took out the recliner, put the table there. These two boxes I still have to go through. And then I bought a stand-up desk. Sammy's got room for his bed. Here's my entertainment center. And here's the cockpit. This, my friends, is the view that I have when I'm driving. <laughs> it's so freaking tall. I can see everything. I can see as much as a semi sees. And then I, I rigged up Sammy a little. This is the co-pilot seat so that he can, he can be there with me. Yes, that's a squatty potty and a, and a crate. I can MacGyver as good as the, the next girl. So there's my living room and the kitchen. There's my fridge. Here, let me turn on a light. Let's see if that helps. Okay, there's my fridge. I got a really great little pantry. I know this is silly and you guys probably don't care. But how cute is that? I got two of them. Okay, here's the bathroom. Remember, I'm kind of ready to leave in the morning. So that's why I've got boxes and stuff all around. Here's my shower. I got a little chair if I want to sit down and shave my legs. Over here is the bathroom. And here is the bedroom. Let's see. Let's see if I can turn on more lights. Okay, here's my bedroom. So this is the third slide. So it's pretty set up. I got a big, huge closet. I got plenty of space. Oh, here's the, here's kind of the coolest part. 
also, I know several of you were asking if you could have a tour of the house. So, there you go. There's the tour of the house. I'm leaving tomorrow for Seattle. I'm a little bit scared to death, but then a little bit, mm, I'm, I'm pretty, I've, I've exercised my badass muscle, so I'm, <laughs> I'm getting pretty confident. And I'm going to be telling me, I don't know if you can see, that little car, the little Honda Element, will go right here behind the motorhome. So it's quite a spectacle to see. All right, I'm sorry, this video is kind of clunky and it's kind of all over the place, but I just wanted to tell you that nothing about this life that I'm living, that you're watching, that you're, you're getting to be a part of, nothing about it is comfortable. Nothing has been comfortable from day one. It's been uncomfortable. There have been a lot of tears. There's been a lot of stress. There's been times where I just want to yell at everyone. And there's times of a lot of fear. But at the end of the day, what choice did I have? Right? I didn't have a choice. I couldn't just sit down and poor me, wham, 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 I'm not going to do anything. I had to move forward. So when you think of what I'm doing as so huge, it really seriously has been huge. But it's not anything that you couldn't do too. So if there's something that you want to change in your life, um, I heard a story just a few days ago, and I love this story about the farmer and the ruts. I don't know if any of you have heard this story before, and if you have, I, I apologize. I'm going to tell it to you again. A farmer that does the same thing day after day, he loads the hay in his truck, and he drives his truck out to the field, and he feeds the cows. Every day, he does the same route, every single day, same thing. So after days and days and days and weeks and weeks and weeks and months and months and months, there's ruts in the road of where he goes. His truck could pretty much just take him there. He doesn't have to do anything. He's now in a rut. The truck does, does it for him. How many of you are in a rut and you're living your life just, just on autopilot? The truck goes where you want it to go because you do the same thing all the time. If that farmer turned his wheel a quarter of an inch just a quarter of an inch to the left or to the right. He's now going to drive slowly up and out of the ruts. What happens if he's a hundred feet or a hundred yards or what happens if he's a mile away with a quarter of an inch of a turn of his wheel? He can't even see that field anymore. So don't think that the changes in your life had to be monumental. They don't just make one small adjustment and do that every day in a different direction and guess what you're not even going to be able to see the rut that you were in before so there's my little nugget my golden nugget for you today nothing i've done has been easy it's been hard every single step of the way but i've had to be i've had to force myself to make and take that uncomfortable action and you can too so tomorrow i leave for seattle 450 miles of uncomfortable you can do it I can do it. I'll talk to you later. Okay. Thanks for being my tribe. I love you guys. God bless you.